May God bless you. I would like to invite you to listen to this wonderful testimony. And I believe that the Lord will encourage you. Listen to the testimony carefully. So my name is Warren. I've been in this church since 2020. And then uh, my testimony was like I first met with the church members at a revival meeting. Uh, I was uh, looking for a job and I have been looking for two years because of my family situation. I was a software developer and you know like in my industry it's like uh, if you are not keep working your technology your skill set will be outdated. It's very tough to find a job if you are stop working for like one or two years. So we went to the revival service after Pastor Lau like lay hand on me. I felt like a, a, a instant I have a lot of coughing, and then Pastor Lau said like keep coughing. That time I don't know much about like what's going on, but like just keep coughing. And uh, I, later on, of course, I know that like this is like a deliver and the uh, cough out of demons and the bad spirits. After that, I felt like the whole body was lighter, and then. Uh, Pastor Lau was prophesying like some of the uh, things that like uh, uh, some are even like no one knows, just like my family knows. So um, uh, that was like very amazing. And uh, after the church service on Monday, after the uh, revival service, I got a call from uh, the employer that like they want to hire me as a uh, programmer again. So. Uh, that's like, uh, it's a blessing instantly. I was uh, received the uh, offer letter, but the offer letter, they were putting me on the lowest grade of the salary. Uh, at that time, like, uh, uh, I know that like, uh, Holy Spirit kind of pushing me like, oh, you can, you can ask for like more. You can ask for more salary and stuff. But uh, to me, it's kind of like a little bit hesitant because like, uh, I just like stopped working for years and then now I got the job, should I do that? Because like uh, usually the experience told me that like if, if I do that, I may lose the job. But I did it anyway because like I think like uh, uh, Holy Spirit pushed me to do like more. So I, I just try to like, hey, uh, the employer, can I ask you like to have a higher salary? So they, uh, they give me the paperwork to do and then I just like fill in the forms and stuff and hoping that like they will give me like more salary. But uh, it turns out they give me the highest grade. So this is like a very amazing, this is a blessing already. And then the first day of work and I went to the office and then the boss said like, you know, you were lucky because like uh, you are the last one that we hired because of the pandemic. So uh, you right now like you meet me uh, the first day but you don't need to work in the office you just work from home for my family situation is even better because i can take care of my son and my wife the boss said it's luck but we don't believe in luck we believe in blessing i know that this is god's blessing so this is my uh, testimony that i would like to give and i hope that will encourage everyone thank you Thank you so much for listening to this testimony or the teaching of the Word of God. I would like to encourage you to give your life to God to be His child. The Lord created you. He loved you so much. That's why He sent Jesus Christ into the world 2,000 plus years ago. And Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who never sinned, who never made any mistake, went to the cross. On the cross, He shed His blood. And he took your sin, the curses, sickness, and problem upon his body. And he offered to you righteousness, healing, blessing, and victory. It's the unreasonable exchange at the cross. He loved you. But what you need to do is to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. Confess or speak with your mouth that he is your Lord and he was raised from the dead on the third day and you repent of your sin 
and then you're going to become a born again believer, and your name shall be recorded in the book of life. Why don't you follow my prayer, speaking to God, Father in heaven, I admit, Lord, I am a sinner. Thank you, Lord, that your Son Jesus Christ died on the cross for me to give me life. He forgave me of my sin, and He was raised from the dead on the third day. He loved me so much. Lord Jesus, come into my life right now. I will follow you. I will serve you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Wow! Congratulations. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 19, and this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from His glorious riches, which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. I believe from now on, the Lord will take care of you, protect you, train you, anoint you, provide for you. Protect you and help you in everything. You just walk by faith and in obedience. God bless you.